what's up guys it's like almost 11 in the morning or whatever i'm heading out to the storage unit to uh, go start working on that 10 by 20 some more get through some stuff there. there's auctions tomorrow if i can get through enough i might be able to buy something we'll see all right i've made it we're down here I'm gonna start working on this guy like i said hopefully if i clear enough stuff out i can actually buy something tomorrow but who knows kind of nice on this side there's still snow over there i think we got like six inches of snow the other day but the sun's hitting this side keep me a little warm even though it's not really that cold i think it's like 35 degrees or something like that it does not feel cold i guess because i'm in the sun but I'm gonna get working on this and uh hope to find some treasures so i just went through these three drawers right there in that toolbox found a whole bunch of like airbrush things and whatnot are pretty neat this light that i gotta look at a foot peg or starter peg or something for a motorcycle i believe a couple paint guns this little part i think it's like a piston or something it just looks cool i don't know harley davidson light shield thing a uh, fountain pen and then a couple pieces of craftsman tools and everything just got that done i need to go through the bottom of that and also that big one there but I think I'm going to start working on this stuff here. So I know this was in the unit when I went and actually moved out. Or the video, I mean, when I went and moved this unit. But I just pulled out this crystal head glass full of pennies and shit. And then I've got this box here, which I glanced through when I first found it. And it's like jewelry and everything. Like these are, this is full jewelry. And everything. Pop it up here. I think all the little drawers are full. I don't have to go through it all. See if there's anything real. I think when I look through it the first time, there's a couple pieces of sterling, but those are really all that I saw. I think that's got jewelry in it. And that's got a little bit of jewelry in it. And I think that box right there has some in it. So. Not bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Worked a little bit on that toolbox, but I never didn't finish it. Just throwing stuff in the flea market bin there. But I'm just going to try to tackle as much as this as I can. Alright, so I just got done going through all this stuff. That's all costume jewelry there. All this in here, except for this one ring that I think might be silver, but it's not marked. Or the markings like worn off on it, but all this is silver there. A bunch of earrings, different stuff. But that's all silver. Not a whole lot of money at all, but everything adds up. I forgot to show these, but also in that, um, that jewelry box bag box whatever you want to call it were these coins that are, they were in the other video when i was moving this unit but those were in there too those two right there are silver and that one's just a 2012 kennedy half just like a remake i believe but not too bad so i'm still just working at this stuff found some military advertisement posters there's that one and then one back here I think it's in like Spanish or something. Just pulled this out. It's just kind of neat. It's like a sketching. I don't know if it's actually by someone. I'm guessing Neil Madden is what the signature somewhat looks like. But I don't know if it was just the person or what. But it's pretty good. I like it. Looked something up and didn't find anything on it. Do have this box here. If I don't fall that I'm pretty sure is all model cars. And then I found some records, some comics, some couple things I gotta look up. This little, I think it's like Betty Boop or whatever doll. It's porcelain by, um, oh, I just forgot the name. It's on the back here. I can't really pick it up. No. Sid Hap, Hop, whatever, right there. Looked it up, and it's doing, like, some of them are selling, some of them are not. Some are going for, like, 120, 130 bucks. Some aren't selling at all. So, I'm just going to do a little more research on it. But, uh, that's really it so far. I know there's another box, and I think it might be, like, that box right there, or that one, or the one way back there. It's more model cars. But I'm pretty sure that's all that's in here is model cars. 
So these will probably end up going on eBay maybe. Not exactly sure yet. But I'm still just pushing through this. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. Just pulled these guys out of this box where the cars were. That one looks like it, the one on the left. They're all metal. It's like two Indians, a police officer one. One of them has markings on the bottom. But the one on the left there looks like maybe World War II era or something like that. Those are pretty neat. Just pulled this out of the same box. It's marked Japan on the bottom. There's a Japanese tin toy and there's some stuff on the inside. I don't know if that's supposed to be in there or not. But that's pretty neat. And then there's this guy too. Get that out. It's pretty old as well. All the one on the bottom. I, don't know, I might just dig through this box for another minute or two. So I'm just going through this box right here. And there's some old looking stuff in here. Some of it at least. Like this tin looks pretty old. Fish. But I just saw this down here that I'm trying to get to. Let's see if we can do it. I don't know if these were real fish at one time or what. I might look them up. But this guy right here, old wind up. That thing is pretty cool. That is neat. That's old. Old tin toy. I really found many of these ever. Which is pretty cool. I think there and this guy was in there too. I think this was just kind of like a homemade job, but it's pretty neat. And this little Hallmark fire truck says Hallmark down in there. Can't see it. Lighting's bad. But that's pretty cool. Let's see what else is in there. Got some more models. Little model car. The fish. I don't really see anything old old down in here. Plastic model car, another plastic model car, <laughs> camera, another model car, I think that's really it, those are really cool though, I saw that hiding down there, I wanted to show you guys. So I'm like halfway through this box, when it first started it, it was like all the liquor bottles were empty and everything, but then, I mean, there's jewelry down there. There's jewelry in that cup. This whole rack came out of it that's jewelry. There's jewelry in this box that I'm going to go through. I think that chain's gold. I'm pretty sure those little pieces there are gold. There might be some silver down in here. Who knows? I'm going to get to it and show you guys what's up. Oh, there's a bunch of... Well, that's a lot of gold. I can just tell that's a bunch of that's gold. So, I'm going to get to this real quick. All right, guys, this is pretty awesome. <clears throat> Just um, kind of skimmed through a bunch of this, and it's looking pretty damn good. There's some silver and stuff left in here, I believe. This chain came out of there, which I am almost positive is gold, but the part where the marking, the part of the clasp where the marking is, is broken off, but I am pretty darn positive that that's probably gold. And then this piece here, too. I'm questionable about it. I don't see a marking on it, but there's a part where it looks like the marking could have worn off. So I'm going to test those. Like, I'll test everything. But anyway, we got like two silver pieces here. Like, just all this is 10 karat gold. All that. And then all of this stuff in here is all gold as well. I just kind of glanced through and grabbed some pieces out. This chain's 14 karat gold. I mean, this is insane. There's some gemstones in here. This is all costume jewelry little rack but it was literally just out of that box right there that's awesome there's another box exactly like it right there hopefully that one's good too but this is pretty insane first big hit of the year so let me just look at this all gold and it's like all 10 karat 14 karat gold which is amazing i don't know if they were just gonna go scrap it and then threw it in here or what but I can't complain. I mean, this is crazy. That's all 10 karat gold. I mean, that's 
probably close to a damn ounce of 10 karat gold here, which isn't bad out of a $240 unit because this one came out of the one with the big laminator in it that you've seen. This is awesome. Well, not as good as the first box, but two jars of change, two tablets, two phones. This Blockbuster Rewards card came out of the last box, but I mean, these things sell anywhere from like 10 to 30 bucks for no reason. Movies, a whole bunch of stuff. My phone's on 1%, so it might die. Hopefully it won't. So I don't know how long I'm gonna be down here. Don't have a charger for it. Uh, hope it doesn't die. I don't know what the hell all these little bottles are. Pure oil. Alcohol free oil. Alcohol free. I guess they're like body oils or something. I don't know. It's like a whole bin of them. That's weird. Just found a little bit more jewelry in this container. I don't think anything's real in here though. Actually, those earrings might be silver. But that looks really like about it. There was a couple of the rings that I already tossed into my uh, bag. But a little more jewelry. I think those two are silver there. Alright, so I just got done going through that. If I can find my finger. That cigar box right there. I just chucked it over there. Um, found this Marvel Comics patch. It looks old. I don't know. I'm going to look it up. Some watches. A little knife. This ring has a marking on it, but I cannot read it. And then this ring has a silver marking on it. This little dragon ring. It's pretty cool. But that's it so far. Still just working back here. Making a little bit of a hole. I also did find like eight phones right here. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six phones. Right there in another box. They all sell eventually. No update. It's currently dark. And I'm still down here working. Just going through this tote right here. You cannot see this at all. But it's a bunch of like jewelry making stuff. Some of their, some of the stuff in there might be real, but I'm not sure. I gotta take a peek. So I'm just glancing through this container, and I'm pretty sure a couple of those pieces are silver. There might be a piece over here that's gold, and over here. I think I'm just gonna pack this up so I can look at it in better light. But I like it. Maybe that's why they had all the gold. Was they were making jewelry with it? Who knows? All right, so I'm still making progress. I found that original Star Wars action figure just a minute ago, a couple phones, an MP3 player. Um, it's still dark, cold. And I'm just going at it, trying to get as much done as possible before I freeze. I can barely feel my feet and my hands. It's like 29 degrees, I think, or something like that. It's gotten cold since the sun went down, but still going at it. I think I'm probably just going to do like one more bag of trash, move all this stuff in here and get out of here. I am tired, need some sleep and food. So that's the plan. Working on this toad here, just pulled out all these military medals. Look to be brand new. That's pretty cool. There was a bunch of military stuff in this unit. That's one of the reasons why I bought it. So maybe there'll be a bunch more. Just opened up this container too. It's got a bunch of ribbons, pins, pin backs. I think there's buttons and everything down in there. More ribbons, whole bunch more military stuff. I think there might be some more down in there. I'm not exactly sure yet. And then right up against the back wall was uh, this little shadow box, pins and ribbons. I think there's some more right there. And maybe in that bag, who knows? So I just found some more new and packaged military stuff. All of that. Another bag in here. Can't really see it. But it's mainly like ribbons and everything. You can't see that in there. Kind of see them down there. We got another small metal and that whole pack of them. Put that over there with that guy. 
And then you got this, which looks like a bunch. Whoa, what's that? Oh, it's a monthly K bar. I found one of these before. Handle's got a bunch of mold on it, but I can clean that up. A little rusty. Someone will still like to have that. But then as you can see down there, there's a whole bunch of more military stuff. Ribbon holders, ribbons, pins, who knows. A little up close look of what's all in here. A whole bunch of stuff. All Marine Corps stuff. Should sell pretty well. This has been a pretty cool tote. This was at the very bottom, November 1st, 1943, from World War II. Newsweek magazine. That's neat. Alright, so I'm done for the day. Yep. An okay amount accomplished. Not as much as I really wanted to, but did what I could. Got a lot of stuff over here to look up. Like That's the jewelry I gotta take a better look at. There's that camera. A bunch of old, old comics and old magazines and everything. This little, I think it's like a Godzilla thing, but it's like a lighter. Um, that radio looking thing there. With the patches there. Found this press thing. I don't know what it is. That tin. More magazine stuff. Records. John Deere lunchbox. Some bobbleheads. Um, CDs down there. That box right there goes to something that I've got over by the, um, the toolbox there. But, uh. Just a bunch of stuff. Clothes are piled up here. All the military stuff's down there. Got some weights to the clock. Clock's in the trailer. And then that old ball mason jar. That bag of books right there I need to look up too. I need to bring bags over to bag up Hot Wheel cars. And then I got some other stuff over there piled up like DVDs and everything that just goes straight into a box. But I am heading out of here. I'm about to pull these crates in and uh, get a move on. Because I'm cold, hungry, tired. Yeah, it's been a long day. Catch you guys later. So I actually just ran over here to grab all the money that was in there. To get it counted up. All the cash is in there. This whole thing. And then that entire tote's full of change. All change found from storage units. In this messy ass place. But now I'm leaving. So I just got done testing all this gold. This is all 10 carat here. This is all 14 carat. There was 51 grams of 10 carat, almost 52, and 78, almost 79 grams of 14 carat. Works out to that price at market value right now. Not too bad. The 14 carat helped because of this big bracelet right here. It weighs over an ounce. Shalom. It's pretty big. But not too bad. A couple thousand bucks in gold.